Come in. Please have a seat. Good morning, nurse. We have a patient here. She needs your help. It's okay, nurse. Thank you. Okay. You may leave us now. Let me see what I can do with her. Okay. My friend, I'm going to tell you a story that I know. And maybe after that, you'll be in position to tell me your name and your story. Are you looking for this? Kalule, please, give me back my jerry can. The wall is so far back there. I can't go back to fetch water. Don't pour my water, please. Dora, don't amuse me. Hmm? Don't amuse me, Dora. A few minutes ago, you were here and you were singing. Mbu? Mm. Or should I say, crying your heart out? And now you want me to believe you're actually scared about your precious water and your jerry can. Kalule, what I do is none of your business. So go and disturb somebody else. <laughs> Dora, Dora, Dora. You know, Ochi Gudeko. Today I choose you. Hmm? I choose you, Dora, you. Karule, please don't pour the water, please. Karule, don't pour the water. Jaja wants it. What water? Huh? What water? What water is here? What water is here? What water is here? Where? Where? Huh? Karule, you're so I don't have any friends on this village. What is Amuli? It is you who has no friends in this village, Dora. Let me tell you the truth. I mean, look at you. Hmm? See yourself. Who comes to, to the wedding sleeper? Sapatu. Dora, you can't even help your judge with chores. Eh? How so? You can't do that. You're, 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 just, you're just there for. Do I smell jealousy? Just because some of us know how to keep clean, it doesn't I mean. I save your breath. You need it all. And I won't tell your judge. Uh. What do I owe the pleasure of your presence, Miss Dora Nantongo? Jaja, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I ever did to Kalule. He poured my water for the third time. I don't know what I ever did to that boy. Dora, you're a girl. Kalule is a boy. Hmm? Maybe it's not what you have done. Hmm? Maybe it's what you haven't done. He's trying to get you to pay attention to him. Hmm? Instead of the trees and the stones, and the birds, hmm? and whatever else you spend the whole day entertaining, hmm? instead of doing your chores and behaving like a girl in the village. Daddy, I don't know what is wrong with me. Sometimes I want to sing the whole day. Singing will not put food on the table. Hmm? Do you know what will put food on the table and buy you these pretty clothes that you take for granted? 
It is hard work. Good old hard work. Hmm? And when you realize it, I will live a very happy life. Hmm? The upkeep your uncle sends us from Kampala, we spend it on labor. Hmm? To chop firewood, to dig, to fetch water. Hmm? Dora, these are chores that you can do. Hmm? That other children do to help their parents. Why can't you be contented? I think I don't belong here. I think I just need to go. Much as it saddens me, I think that that is what needs to happen. Your uncle has promised to get you a job in Kampala. At a singing place? I hear it is so easy to get famous in Kampala. Imagine me with a live audience. Do you know how much I'll make at the end of the day? Oh my God, Jaja, I've made so much money. The first thing I'll do, I'll build you a very big house with electricity and running water and a big garden with own laborers. Nantongo, get your head out of the cloud this minute. You're as bad as your mother. Do you know what happened to her? Jaja, you have told me that story countless times. That's because I want you to listen. I want you to listen hard. Hmm? Your mother came back to me pregnant with you. And after you were born, she died angry, bitter, and disappointed. Hmm? Nobody knows who your father is, not even his name. No one knows whether he's alive or dead, and nobody cares. Eh? Dora, as long as you're living in my house and you're under my care, hmm? you will not harbor those thoughts and dreams. I don't want you to talk about them to me or anyone else in the village. I don't want to lose another child. Now, go and get the firewood from Karuli. I'm sure instead of chopping the firewood, he's busy listening to our conversation with the intention of spreading it around the village. Jaja, you let Karuli chop the firewood after what he has done. He's the only one who will agree to work for 1,000 shillings. Now hurry up and go. We have to put the beans on the fire. Hmm? Hurry up. Now where are you going, Dora? Come my hair. Stop that nonsense. Hmm? Go and get the firewood from Karule. Now! January. You're not making any sense to go right here. Let me see. What's that? <sighs> yes. Oh, girl, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Panangi. Okay. Where did you find this? <laughs> I'm so excited. Where did you find this, Goretti? I went to the market. Hmm? Uh -huh. I found this huge truck eh? with huge misindalo playing loud music, loud music. People were dancing on top of the trucks. Uh -huh. <sighs> At first I ignored because I was so taken up by the girls dancing on top of the truck. But when the DJ held the microphone and announced the dance, Olimba, I picked. And I came running to find you. How much is the entrance fee? Hmm? It's 5,000. 5,000? Hey, am I going to get that money right now? My only option would be to sell these potatoes and I get... Uh, mm. It's too late for that. What am I going to do? To ask Jaja. Are you stupid? So I go and say Jaja Munangi, there's a kadanke. That has an entrance. Please give me the money. I go and dance the whole night. I will wait for me and open that door. <laughs> you're so funny. Okay. Since you're so clever, what are you going to do about it? Yeah? What are you going to do? My only option would be... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can yes. just... I sell my sandals oh. to Nancha. Mm -hmm. She has been admiring them for a long time. Yes. The problem is I bought them for 10,000. Mm -hmm. I'll sell them to her at 7,000. Mm. Okay, 5,000 entrance. 
2,000 soda and muchomo. But <laughs> <laughs> I can't miss this kadanti. You know it, I can't miss. What? Let's go and get ready. It's 35. Let's pass. 7 p.m. 7 till 1 a.m. Start with me. Is it completely dark outside now? No, but why did you have to close the door so early? I would have had to sooner or later, so sooner rather than later. Jaja, mm -hmm. Great is here to see me. But it is so late. When will she go home? She says she's coming down with a fever. And her mother hasn't come back from the market. And her siblings, can't they help her? Jaja, they are four and seven years. What can they possibly prepare? Mm -hmm. And the father? You know that man. Hey, I remember that old drunkard fool. Instead of looking after his family, he just watches while his wife struggles to sell the little she can get from the garden to keep those children in school. Hmm? Breaks my heart how some of those men are willing to treat their families all in the name of beer. Hmm. But, but go on, call Gority. Tell her. To come. <coughs> Gory. Come and sit down so that I can feel your temperature. No temperature yet, that's good. Uh, Dora, hmm? get me some Panadol from my bedroom and water from the table. Hmm? Let's give her some painkillers before you go. These days it's not easy to detect malaria. Good. Dora, mm -hmm. you can stay at Goretti's place for the night instead of coming back in the dark, okay? Goretti, in case you need any more medicine, please come to me, okay? I can't believe I just swallowed that medicine. Now there's a small price to pay. Did you really swallow? I did. You know how your judge is. <laughs> the bitter test is still on my tongue. So, you promised me something. What are you going to do? Eh? Don't lie it down. Now it's dark house and no one is going to see us. Uh, here, put on the yellow top. I put on this one because I'll look nice in it. Okay, stay in your dress and see if anybody's going to let you step on that stage. I've never put on a trouser before. What if? Uh... What, if what, you silly girl? No one is going to see us. I'm sure you're sleeping at my house, remember? Oh, I'm a 
We are having very, very, very big artists coming from Kampala. Next on the list from Kawako is Rainbow. Wow. Whoa, Rainbow. Such a lovely name. Any Rainbow. Uh, applause for Rainbow. 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 Uyo. Yes. Uh, hey. Wow, wow. Whoa. Uh, aren't you going to remove your cape? Hey, you're shy. Take out to Kurabe. Hey, hey, Kade. Rainbow, uh, Ogana Twin Birakashi. Ebiroto. Ebichi? Ebiroto. Oh, Ebiroto. Okay. Applause for Rainbow, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 
Did anyone tell you you sing like an angel? Rainbow? Is that your real name? My name is Dora Nantong. Dora Nantong. Rainbow is much better. Rain could even be much, much better. Man, your voice sounds like raindrops of gold from the sky, you know? <laughs> well, um, as for me, I'm a famous DJ in Kampala. I play in all the right places. Angenoa, Governor, Amnesia. My close associates are DJ Shiel, you know, Bush Baby, uh, Aluda, you know those guys? No. <laughs> you definitely don't know those guys. You've been locked up in this <laughs> silly village for many years. Yeah? Um, uh, Rain, how old are you? 18? No, I'll be 17 next year. Sweet 16! <laughs> That's like my favorite age. Yeah, you know why? No. A lot of good things happen when you're 16. Have good things started happening to you? But I'm DJ, I don't know what good things you're talking about. Let me go back to my friend, she must be worried now. What's the rush, Rainbow? We just met. I thought you liked me already. Hmm. Look, Rainbow. I, I can make you a famous singer in Kampala. All over Kampala. Yeah, I can make you the new Juliana Kanyomos, the new Irene Nambiru. I don't know what you prefer. Shiba Karunji. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, your, your new life starts today. <laughs> it depends on. DJ, I've think. always wanted to leave this place. I don't know what to do to get to Kampala. Relax. I'm your ticket and your passport all rolled up into one. You're going to give me something small, and I'll give you something big. I don't have any money, please. Who's talking about money, Rainbow? Huh? Listen. First, I want to give you something pretty. You like pretty things, don't you? Yes. Take that from me. This looks beautiful, Rainbow. You know, beautiful people like you. These are pretty things. So beautiful. I'm going to give you this money. And you're going to take my telephone number. So after tonight, you know what I'm talking about. I'll take you to Kampala. Did you want me to run away from home? Come on. You don't belong here. This is not you now. This you belong in Kampala. A new life is starting. So about what I want from you. What is it? Uh, first, you have to take off that cap. I need to be sure you look the part. You look beautiful. Look at you. Take off the blouse. <laughs> yeah, DJ, I can't. Don't you want to come with me to Kampala? No. Huh? Don't you? I even have no girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. I want to make you my girlfriend. I won't hurt you. Nothing is going to happen to you. Nothing. You know that. But DJ, how can I trust you? You're just a stranger from Kampala. I'm just a little girl from the village. But nah. See, I'm the master here. I need to be sure you taste as good as you sound before we start this journey together. So do all pastors have to be tested? Can't I just go without being tested in Kampala? Why am I wasting my time? Did I give you my money? Huh? How much do you think this cost me in Kampala? Forget it. I'm done. Now you must know, you need me more than I need you. DJ, wait. DJ, wait. Look, I'm just a little bit frightened. What do you want me to do? I don't want you to hurt me. Listen. Take your time. Take your time. After this, I want you to go home, pack your clothes. We meet here at 11 a.m. Okay? 
Is that okay with you? Dora, mwana wange, is that you? Are you all right right here? Mm -hmm. Tadja, it's Goriti. She mm -hmm. kept me awake the whole night. She coughed and coughed throughout the night. But I thought she had a fever, not a cough. Until the cough led to fever, the fever led to cough. Tadja, I'm so tired. Please let me rest for one hour. I promise when I wake up, I'm going to till for you the cassava garden and fetch for you all the water you want. Thank you for planting the cassava. It's all we seem to eat these days. Dora, you have very nurturing hands. Eh? I wish you would spend more time in the garden. Yeah, don't worry. Things are going to be different. Just wait and see. Okay, just give me one hour of sleep. Wait, Dora. Are those the clothes you were wearing last night? I've never seen this dress before. Have you been buying new clothes? <laughs> no, Jajan. This is Goethe's dress. She gave it to me last night. I couldn't come back with my dirty clothes. Okay. Alone. Of course, silly girl. I'm alone. How can you trust him, Dora? Hmm? He's a stranger. It's my destiny. Your destiny? How do you know if it's your destiny? Eh? Maybe he just wanted to use you. He didn't use me. He touched me the right way. He said the right things, Gore. He's a master. A master? A deceiving young girls? Are you trying to make me feel guilty? Gore, I don't belong here and I never will. Dora. Your grandmother, she'll be fine without me. She always reminds me of that. You know she doesn't mean that. Eh? You just remind of your mother. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm not like my mother. She has to stop comparing us. Dora. Dora. Eh? Are you running away from home because of a man? I thought you were on my side. Yeah, I thought so too. But I had a long thought about it, Dora. Eh? He's a stranger. You can't trust him. Eh? He said 11 a.m. Eh? It's midday already. Where is he? Dora, where is he? Eh? You can't trust that man, Dora. No. Let's go home. Eh? Be normal girls eh? with normal dreams. Maybe they will come true. Maybe they won't. Eh? We can't lead life, Dora. We cannot lead life. Let us just allow life to lead us. Eh? Let's no. go home. No, Dora, I'm not going home. I'm a stranger in my own village. Even Karole said it. I don't have any friends here. You have me. I sing to birds, I sing to trees. Go away, I'm going, I'll be fine. I'll oh. be just fine. This you is, go. This is so crazy. Eh? Let's just go home. You can't do this, Dora. Dora, let's go home. Eh? You see? You see, the dancer is here to pick me. I told you he'd come for me. Go. Go on, Gore, I'll Dora. be fine. Okay. Bye. Hey, Dora. How are you? I'm fine. Did I just send you to get me? Um, about that, you see, our van broke down, so the DJ had to use a taxi to go to Kampala and get us another one. But he said he will call you today or tomorrow, and the rest of us are going to use taxi to go to Kampala. 
How do I get to DJ? Don't you have his number? Yeah, but where are you going to write it? Do you have a pen? Yes, I do. Zero seven five four three two uh sorry um I mean zero seven five four three two two zero zero three four thank you your pen no you can keep it um Dora if I may ask don't you have a family yes my judge well I suggest you go back and wait I mean live a normal life Dora, you're beautiful, and so is your life. This DJ, uh, DJ is just a DJ. Anyway, I, I have to go. The girls are waiting for me. Wait, I want to be like you. I want to be famous. <laughs> you want to be like me? Dora, I want to be like you. My life is over. This life chose me. I didn't choose it. Anyway. You just wait for him to call or you call him. I have to go. Bye. Dora! <laughs> Did you change your mind? I'm so glad. <laughs> You're bad. No, I didn't change my mind. Ah. Peter said he's going to fix something and then he'll come for me. My friend, are you crazy? I'm just from the market. I saw the truck leave you. You won't believe the number of children Kauko has. They're all lined up. Do you know what they say? Goodbye, Miss Ebony! Goodbye, Miss <laughs> So funny! <laughs> hey, I'm so... What happened? Eh? Did you ever know? Get that truck! No, go, I have to... No, where are you going? Dora! Dora! Dora. Dora. Running over Dora. several, please. Dora, please dial this number. What is it? Here. What's wrong? The truck left. DJ promised. I promised would get me. This is a wrong number. The number is wrong. Say, well, dial the number properly. Dial the number properly. How about we try number two? The girl said it was even wrong. No, thank you. That bastard! That crow what's, bastard! What's going on, Dora? Tell me what's wrong. He used me. What? He used me. I was just a side dish. A village mm. dish. That's when I thought I was so smart. Let's talk to Jaja before anything worse happens. What can be worse than this? I've been left in Kawoko. Great, let's go. Stop worrying yourself. What am I going to do, Gore? Dora, what do you mean what are you going to do? That was a foolish decision. I'm so glad you came back. Yeah? How could you trust him, Dora? He's a stranger. Yeah? Yeah. Thank God he realized how stupid he was to take advantage of an innocent girl like you. He didn't take advantage of me. Touched me the right way, said he'd make me famous. Yeah, I'm sure he told you all those things. But you know what? Please take it for How are you feeling, my child? Not any better, Jaja. What did you say was wrong with you? It must be a fever. But Dora, it's been two months. We ought to call your uncle and get you to a hospital in Kampala. No, Jaja, you don't have to call uncle. I'm sure he has other things to worry about. No, Dora. I'll call him today. In fact, why don't I do it now? What am I going to do now? Anything but the look on Jaja's face when she finds out. What's the first way of ending my life? I have to go.
what just happened? Where are you? Mona Aldetora, where are you? I'm in my room, Jaja. What is it you are doing, my child? Dad, I'm just organizing my room. So that I have some energy. In fact, don't tell uncle to come. You won't believe what happened. Hmm? When I went to call your uncle at the phone booth, the attendant told me that he had called earlier. Apparently, he's on his way here now. I am so excited. Hey, it's been six months since he came to I'm pregnant. You are what? Dad, I know you knew it. I'm pregnant. Of course, I didn't know it. How could I know it? Where was I? When did this happen? Who is the father? Judge, I don't know. It was this one time. I need to go away, Judge. Dora, you want to run away? No, I'm not running. At least let me go to Goretti's house. Uncle can't find me here. He will kill me. He won't even get me that job in Kampala. When the history is repeating itself. What am I going to do? Judge, please, I'm sorry. I will explain. Please, just help me. Mom. <laughs> now you want my wisdom. I'm eh? sorry, please let me go. Help me. Help me. Okay, you can go through the back door. Eh? Eh, I'll come for you later. Eh? Dora. Eh? It's not that I'm disappointed. It's just that I'm hurt. Eh? I thought you trusted me. I thought you could tell me anything. Eh? I tried to be the kind of parent to you that I even wasn't to your mother. Eh? I try to be even different from anybody else. Mom! Go, 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 go. Are you all right? I I had some people crying. Are you okay? Yes, I am okay. It's just that I haven't seen you in a long time, my son. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to see you too, Mom. <laughs> um, how is Dora? Oh, is she up to her usual cheeky self? Oh, Dora. <laughs> Dora is in the garden. Eh? But can I get you some tea, my son? Some water? Ah, no, Mom, don't disturb yourself. Mm. Uh -uh. Don't tire yourself. It must have been a long, hard journey. Ah, mm. ah no. No, in fact, I was just passing by Kawoko. Mm. Uh, I'm on my way to Nyendo, mm. where I have some business deal. Mm. Then I thought to myself, why not pass by and uh, see mom? Mm. <laughs> and also give you the good news. What is that, my son? Are you finally getting married? <laughs> <laughs> I want for another grandson. <laughs> eh? Neda, mm. mm. Mama, no, no. Mm. <laughs> Besides, I'm sure uh, Dora mm. is equal to over 10 grandchildren, considering all the chaos she takes you through every day. Mm. Um, <clears throat> well, anyway, the good news is that mm. I have got for Dora a job. Have I said something that has offended you? I, I, are you f not feeling well? Uh, okay, I, I bought you some medicine no, and most of the no, things no, that, no, no. That, that you asked me for. I'm just feeling a bit lonely. Hmm? How about if we pushed Dora's job to next year? Hmm? How am I going to cope if you take her away today? But I thank you for the job, eh? Thank you for the job. She's... She's a wonderful girl. Maybe she's crazy sometimes, but... Deep inside, she's... Inside, she's, she's a good girl. Eh? Her heart is in the right place. I've tried to bring her up wholeheartedly. Eh? Mama, I have never seen you like this. Don't worry, I am not going to take Dora today. Huh? <laughs> one of my bosses, eh, the one for whom I made a big bed, and they gave me a very big uh, commission. Well, his wife just learned that she's pregnant. So I promised her that uh, when she gives birth, Dora would go and help her out. What? 
You mean Dora is needed for next year? Yes! And the other good news is that you are going to come and start living with me in Masaka town. Yeah, remember the other house I was telling you about? Well, the structure is almost complete. And you, you should be able to move there and live with me maybe from next year. And there is space for a very big garden. Uh, and I'll make sure that I employ maybe a shamba boy to help you so that you do not have to get tired. Uh, you will not be alone. No. Uh, and as for Dora, she's in a very good place because uh, the Doombas, they are a wonderful couple. Very wonderful. I, I would not just let her go and stay anywhere. She is so disappointed in me, Gore. What are you going to do? I don't know. I've told you a thousand times. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I need to go somewhere very far where nobody knows me. But there's a baby on the way. Who will take care of that baby? Myself. It's my destiny. Dora, are you sure it was just that one time? How can I lie to you, Goretti? The man didn't give me a phone number, he didn't give me his name, but left me with a child. Bound. Sorry. It will be fine. Jaja. Come, my child. Let's go. Now, I'm sorry, my child. There's no better way to say it. And I loved him too. The way someone can love a great grandchild, Dora. There are people waiting outside, and you have been here in this room the entire day. I can't give me to those people. It's time to let him rest, Dora.
all about? Uh, we're having our house help coming in today, so I thought we should both be here when she arrives. Oh, I agree. Mm. Yeah. In that case, let me go freshen up. Okay. Ow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see who that is. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Dumba. <laughs> uh, this is a, this is Dora. Dora Nantongo. My niece, the one I was telling you about. Okay. How are you, Dora? I'm fine, madam. I'm okay. Ah, oh, this is baby Jeremy. Do you want to hold him? Yes. <laughs> He hasn't cried. I know. You see, no ya gana. Taya gana ngalo zitali zanga. Dora has her way with babies. <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> ah, I think I better go now, please. Oh, wait. Won't you stay for some tea? Ah, no, thank you, really. I have to go to Masaka town, and you know it's already very late. Oh, okay. <laughs> well then, I guess I'll see him out. Okay. We'll discuss the details. Alright. Uh, Dora, I will give you a call in a week's time, then you can talk to judge. Okay, uncle. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Ah, now, here it is. Do you like it here? Yes, madam. <laughs> Good. Uh, now, one thing. Please stop calling me, madam. You can now call me mummy because you're part of our family. Yes, madam. Yes, mummy. <laughs> we are entrusting you with a great responsibility of caring for our baby. Your uncle says you are a good, well-mannered girl. And I have faith that you will take care of him very well. Okay? Now, Dora, I know you've traveled far to get here, so I'm going to have to let you rest. Uh, but we are a Christian family here, and we start every new step with a prayer. And so this is a new step for both of us. Will you pray with me? Is it okay? Yes, Mommy. Okay. Okay. Give me your hand. Dear Lord, we thank you for today. Father, we thank you for entrusting us with this child. Dear Lord, I pray to you that you may give her the wisdom to carry out her duties. And Father, Lord, like I always say, this is our destiny. I pray to you through Jesus' name, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mommy. No problem. Okay, so I'll let you rest and I'll see you. Auntie didn't leave for you, eh? What in Amugambia? We knew, but she forgot. What are we going to do?
Hmm. Bait, bait. Hmm. That's why you chipotle your gun. I'm gonna bait. So we shall always breastfeed. Fox. Hmm. See? Want to sleep? Time to sleep? Hey, time to sleep. Let's go to bed. Sorry about not coming last week, as I had said. Yeah. Things came up, my dear. Okay. So, but how are you coping? I'm very fine, Uncle. I'm very happy. Eh? Hmm. Uncle and Mommy don't take good care of me. Mm. I have a whole room to myself. I have new clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Dora, Dora, Dora. You have never changed, do you? <laughs> and your chores? <laughs> there are hardly any chores. Eh? By 8 a.m., I have finished everything. It's nothing compared to Kawako, Rubimbi, Mawalidi, nothing. <laughs> Dora, Rubimbi, which means you do not even miss Jaja anymore. I miss Jaja so much. Sometimes in the morning I wake up and call her name. Panange Gore, Kalule. Kalule. I miss these people. They are there, they are there, Even Jaja, by the way, misses you very much. She even wrote for you a letter, and I'm sure inside there there's also another one from Goretti. <laughs> Let me give you and I go. I do not want to waste your work time. Yeah, I was going to make you some tea where you go. <laughs> Dora, work up first. My dear, you have to take care. These Doombas, they say all many, many, many good things about you. Eh? Here is your letter. Bambi, greet them for me when they come back. I will. Eh? Look at you. Okay, bye. I'll walk you out. Panda <laughs> get <laughs> 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 you. We have grown fat. Hey, you woke up. Oh, yeah. first read a little. First read the jazz letter. Wana Wang, how are you in that new place? Uncle tells me that it's a wonderful family, and I am glad. But how are you coping, child? We have had so many losses, you and me, that I barely sleep at night these days. I wish we had taken a photograph of my late boys. Maybe then I can come back. Imagine. Kaule wants to marry Gori. <laughs> more is a pity to you, my friend Gori. More is a pity. <laughs> so he got the love of his life. I miss them. But you know my new friend. He's her. To the floor. Bere. 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 Sort out the lunch. Okay. okay. Thank you. Hey, give me, give me. It's 
Seems like he doesn't like bottle feeds. Isn't it supposed to be used by now? It's about three months now. Mommy, I think he, he likes breast. He, he'll get used to the bottle. He'll get used. So what do you do in my absence? Okay. Here, give him to me. up and get ready to serve the dinner. Uh, Daddy Jeremy will be coming over with Dr. Mugabe, okay? So we need to get set. Oh, I need you to get him ready as well. Uh, give him a bath, change of clothes. I want him to be ready for the visitors. Yes, ma'am. Have you had a shower as well? Yes, mommy, I bathed a little. Oh, okay. Good, but I don't know why. Sometimes I smell this breast milk kind of scent in the house and I don't know why. But anyway, let me go freshen up so that I am not smelly for the visitors. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. Thank you for inviting me into your home. Doctor. doctor, this is your home. Anytime. Yes. Thank you, Jenny. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> you can bless the food. Okay, yeah. Father in heaven, we want to thank you and bless you for the food. We pray that you bless it and sanctify it. Pray that you bless the hands that have prepared it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, Dora, please come join us at the table. You've worked equally as hard, so you deserve to enjoy the meal with us here. It's a wonderful meal, Jenny. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. I yeah, know. It is the reason I always come home early to eat her food. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> so tell me, how's the practice going? I get more patients from church, especially. I don't regret leaving Mulago for Paragon Hospital ever since. They say the first step is always the hardest. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, a doctor, I have a question. It is Jeremy. He has this fever that is on and off. It is mild. Yeah. Well, I haven't been so worried to take him to hospital, but I don't know. Do you think it could be dissing? And do I have to take him to hospital? I always say you need to trust your instincts. If you believe there is more to that than just my teeth, and then you should bring him into hospital tomorrow. You won't believe how rampant baby infections are nowadays. Mm -hmm. And you need to curb it before it's too late. Well. I have not been so worried, but anyway, uh, Dora here has been so wonderful. Make sure to get Jeremy packed for hospital tomorrow, okay? Yes, mommy. Uh, doctor, we always appreciate your putting in your time for us. Uh, we're really grateful. Anytime. Thank you. Anytime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're such a person. <laughs> so, Dora, how do you like your place here? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh my god. It is Jeremy. He's very hot. Have you given him the medicine that Dr. Mugabe told you to give him? I did. It's been two weeks, and he said if he doesn't change, we need to take him for more blood tests. I am so frightened. He, he could be having one of those diseases. Let's go. Are you going to go in your nightdress? Don't be no time for jokes. Shh. I'm going to ask Dora to pack his bags.
It's so hot. I wonder what's taking long. Oh, doctor is here. Doctor. Uh, yes, doctor. Are the results out? Yes. I'm afraid they don't come bearing good news. What do you mean? I'd like to believe it's, it's, it's a mistake. We've been very careful. And? What is it, doctor? It appears that baby Jeremy is HIV positive. No! No, that's impossible. Huh? No! Oh my god. But how? I mean, I just did an HIV test about five months ago as part of the pregnancy test. And I was negative. I don't understand. Neither do I. Dumba just did his medical checkup. Exactly. And and uh, his results were negative, I'm sure he told you. Yes. <sighs> I have fiercely guarded him against any harm. I have prayed for him. How could this have happened to him? No, it just can't be. It's a, it's a mistake. Jenny. Oh I'd like Dora to come in so that we run an HIV test on her. Since she's the only other person who handles baby Jeremy besides you two. She's only a child herself. A child whose medical history we do not know. Honestly, if she's had my child, she's going to pay for this deal. No, honey, this is not the time to fight, please. Let's just look upon the Lord. Baby. I'm, I'm afraid. Sorry. Sorry, Jumba. Sorry. Dumba. How could this be? How did I not? How did I not notice anything was wrong? How did I let this happen? How did I let you go in the arms of danger, my love? How did I let this happen to you? We can rule out Dora. How soon can I get her? Right now! Right now! I'll go get her myself right now! No! no let me go get her! No, no, no. I don't think you're in such a critical condition to do this. Let me go get her myself. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. When he found out I was HIV positive, I was so devastated. It felt like the world burdens had been deposited on my 17-year-old shoulders and I didn't know what to do with them. Here I was, 17 years old, just lost a baby, an orphan, staying with total strangers. And then they tell me I've just infected their only child with HIV. My friend, Dumba was so mad at me. As for Jenny, it was a different story. She didn't want to look at me or talk to me at all. It's like to her I didn't exist at all. But surprisingly, they didn't call my uncle to take me back to the village. No, I stayed on to work. But Jenny, she quit her job. She had to come back and take a full-time job of taking care of her only child. How could she trust me with her only child? So work I did, like a little donkey. I stopped bathing altogether, taking care of myself. I was smelling. I was a wretch. Even that bad milk I used to feed that baby. How could I do something like that? Feeding a baby that wasn't mine. I thought Jeremy had replaced my dead baby. If only I had known I was HIV positive. If only I had known my friend. So what I did, one day, a thought came to my mind. I had saved about 400,000. I said to myself, you know what? I can't stay with the Dombas anymore. I had to go.
outside I just lost myself a waitress and right now this place cannot be managed with only one girl and the list number I need are two girls so are you good at waitressing hmm? no eh what job did you have I was a housemaid it's almost the same thing so you're good at serving and waiting isn't it uh-huh as you can see this is a club of live music that is the area where they play the live music from yeah, and most of my customers are patrons and a few new ones. That is my barman called John. Hello, you're welcome, mm -hmm. madam. Uh -huh. This bar has only one rule, my dear, and one rule only. Do not let me find you sleeping with my customers. You want to do it, go and do it somewhere else. I don't mind. Because hmm? I do not want to involve my name and the name of my bar in your personal affairs. Understood? Yes, madam. Yeah. So, and, um, do you happen to have um, children, child somewhere? No, madam. You don't? Okay. John, please show her to her, to her room, the, the one on the left. Okay, madam. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, madam. You're welcome. But, so, 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 first way, first way. Where were you going and where have you been staying? I was a housemaid. I was just looking for another job and where to stay. Today is like now your lucky day. Okay, so any questions, requests, because I have to go and work. I'm time bad, I have to go and work. So John, we'll take you to your room, show you the kitchen, a bit of training, a crash course, because I need you to start today. Understood? Maybe just one request. Yes? Please don't call me Dora. Call me Rain. Oh, okay. Then Rain, you are welcome. Thank you so much, madam. Mm -hmm. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. <laughs> so, I started my first day at the Big Boss. It wasn't a hard job, really. Like Bossy had said, most of the customers were patrons. Bossy, well, she was a little bossy sometimes, but that is who she was. Personally, I didn't care as long as I was paid. Sometimes it felt like I was on my path to death and this was just a stopover. I mean, here I was, HIV positive and trying to live a normal life. Who was I kidding? I enjoyed listening to the different bands play and sometimes wished I could also join the stage and play. The music manager of the club was DJ Daddy. 
but everyone called him daddy. He wasn't a bad man, <laughs> though he kept pestering me to sleep with him. I was determined not to give in until it was the price I had to pay again to sing on the stage. You know, I just love you when boss is not around. I love your swag. I like the way you say that word swag. It sounds so nice. And I love the way you feel in my arms. Are we on tonight? <laughs> not until you fulfill your promise, DJ. Come on, bass. Did you know tonight is your big night? Tonight, we're reaching for the stars. Talk is cheap, Pops. You know what I want, so make it happen. Don't worry, my princess. I'm your man, and I have the keys. Come on, DJ. Boss is not around. She's off today. Just give me a chance to go on stage. You know how much I want to perform. Please. All right. But you must promise me something special. I'm all yours, dear. And that's how I like it. Yes, I know. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight is the wildest night of your dreams. Believe me. We have something homemade cooking, and everyone is going to have to feast on it. Because after all, are the boss. Everyone is a boss. Hmm? Well, um, there's a special young lady that has been begging me off the hook to perform for us. And I thought to myself, well, why not today when the mood is right and love is in the air? Huh? Well, then I told the young lady, get up on here on the stage and show us what you have. And she goes like, Daddy, you ain't seen nothing yet. Well, I told her, I've been around, baby. And she tells me, Daddy, you're going to be blown away. And I'm like, do me the honors. So, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome with me the amazing, the beautiful, the fresh, Ray. So I sang and sang that night until my voice was hoarse. In fact, due to demand, Bossy found out about my singing. At first, she was angry, but later she consented when she realized that I was obviously bringing her more money. She became my manager with Daddy. I started performing in several clubs around the town. All the big names, I was a fixture. I even started performing at concerts of big artists. <laughs> because somehow, my voice drew the crowds. The only problem 
was there was no substance in me. It was like I wasn't a real person. I was rain. I had no history. Nobody knew me. Even when Jaja, Uncle, or Jenny could see me, they wouldn't recognize me because I had changed. I dressed more like bossy and I'd learned how to smoke cigarettes. I continued to live in the club and every penny bossy gave me was either spent on drugs or beer or clothes or even men. It didn't matter. I didn't care. There was no purpose to my life. Up and leave. Get up. Hey, 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 hey. Get up and leave. Hey. Get up and leave. Get up. What? Get out. Just come back to bed. Leave, mister. Hey. Get out. I, I thought you loved me. <laughs> How can I love you? I don't even know your name. I, I told you my name is. Uh... Hey, 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 shut up. Let's get out. Listen, I have a performance tonight. I don't want to be late. W where are you performing? It's none of your business. I have somewhere to go. Listen, yesterday was really great, but I really have to go. And if you think of stealing anything in this room, don't, because everything here is worthless. Now get out. Can you come back to bed, don't listen to me? I... Two of me and you. And don't forget your... ship. Wanted to give me, I don't know how much he would have spent on me. The oh, same player had to get, that's what you earn. Hey, 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 it's hey, hey, hi. hi. <coughs> how are you? Ah. You've come up so early, it's just 8 pm. I thought you'd be out by around uh, midnight. I couldn't sleep, <laughs> not with that dishy guy, just so moving out of your room. <laughs> that guy, I have no idea how he got into my room yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday was crazy at Lido Beach. I had a good performance. I'm starting to think I'm taking over the music industry here. Wow. Uh -huh. Everyone keeps asking for rain. Uh -huh. Okay, but surely. Why can't Bossy organize for you a concert? Hey, about it. That woman is using your money. Rain. That is, to, to be honest, really. Have you seen the house she's putting up in Nigeria? That is your money. I don't care. Who cares? So, why in it? I thought you were in this for money. Not everybody is. I'm starting to think you really don't give a damn about this whole thing. You have a stranger every night in your bed. And I'm told you're starting to use drugs. I hope you use condoms at least. Listen, I thought we were supposed to be bad girls. Yeah. What's with all the condom talk and ETC? What is this all about? No, <laughs> one At the end of it all, it's your life. A beautiful girl. If I really needed such a someone, trust me, I'd be in church right now. Mm -hmm. Girl, where are you performing tonight? Surprisingly, uh -huh. I am performing right here. Oh. And then tomorrow I'll have like three performances Casablanca, Club Trot, uh -huh. then back to Explorer. Uh -huh. We're sure. on tonight. So <laughs> I'll see you all later. Uh -huh. Where to? Girl. As I got myself ready for that night, I couldn't help thinking about the dancer's words. Sometimes it's as if you don't give a damn at all. You have even started experimenting with drugs. I hope you're using condoms at least. I couldn't recognize myself anymore. I couldn't believe that this was a young girl who used to sing to the birds, the trees, 
understands who is this person I asked. I couldn't stand to be alone with myself because I was scared of myself. That night at the Big Boss Club, I performed like it was my last performance. Maybe it was because it was my last night on stage. to be asleep, but I watched as Bossy discussed my health with the doctor. I don't know when he told her I was HIV positive. Maybe it was the time when I saw her cover her face with her hands and shake her head. I wanted to tell her it's not your fault, Bossy. I was dying already. I couldn't talk. My mouth felt so heavy and hard, and I wasn't really sure whether I was awake or asleep. Maybe I was drifting in and out of consciousness. Poor Bossy, she must have liked me or something. Or maybe it was the money, I don't know. I was discharged. She took me back to the big boss and my little room. She took care of me as best as she could and didn't at all mention that I was sick. I regained a bit of strength and started talking and singing again. But Bossy was adamant. She didn't want to take responsibility of that again. She started asking about my family, about what I could tell her, but I couldn't tell her. I didn't know how to be Dora Nantongo anymore. Ah. I once again made escape plans to return to the streets. One night, in her absence, I packed my clothes, the ones I came with from Kawoko, and returned to the spot of the streets. I lasted three days on the street. I was too gone, too sick to withstand the cold and hunger of the street. I hadn't left with a single coin because I had come to die just like a dog. That girl is dying. Oh, you see him? What else? But if she dies from here, it will disrupt our lives. And the crowd will grow big, the police will come. And our lives will be over. Let's get a border border and take her to the hospital. It's only 3,000. Me, I don't want to see doctors. But no one is going to see us. Take her there and dump her on the floor. And we pretend you are looking for something and you disappear. Umukazafa.
let's show this. Is this Dora? Dora? Is she called Dora? I don't know. Dora. Dr. Mugabe, to be honest, I cannot thank you enough. But I, I just wish you had informed me a little bit sooner, because at least I would have come maybe to the hospital, or you know, offered some help in any way I could. There was nothing you could do, Uncle. It was all in God's hands. Dora is recovering, yes, and she needs hospital checkups. But she's in very good hands with the Dumbas. I wish my mother was still alive. Because at least she would have helped with taking care of her. No, Uncle. Don't even think about it. This is our destiny. This is what God wants us to do. He has strengthened Jeremy, and Dora is on the mend. Let us do this. Dora is our daughter now. I'm very, very grateful, Mrs. Dumba. Thank you. Be grateful to God alone. He is in charge of our lives. Yeah. Um, Dora? Dora? Yes, sir? Where's Jeremy? Jeremy's playing outside. Okay. Um, Dora here was just sharing with me this morning about her future plans. Would you like to talk about it now? I would like to become a nurse or a counselor. I would like to help young people like myself or who have changed their identity just like I became Rain. I want to use my personal experience to help them if, if it's possible. Yes, of course it's possible and I know just the place where we can start. And maybe I can be allowed to at least pay her fees. No, Uncle, no worries. Yeah. Like I always say, this is our destiny. And God is in charge of it all. Amen. <coughs> nice. What happened to Jaja? Jaja passed away. She couldn't take any more bad news of losing another daughter. She died so devastated. And Goretti? Goretti is a nurse who brought you in here. I convinced her to go back and study. Uncle paid for her school fees. She became like her daughter. Actually, she's married now. And the DJ? Have you heard from him? No, and I'm glad. He's in my past. I mean, he was the beginning of rain. And rain is long gone. She's like a memory to me right now. But don't you miss singing? Don't you miss the stage? No, I don't. I go to church, I sing in the choir, church crusades. I'm talking to you right now. I feel like I'm using my voice for a fulfilled purpose for God. Yes, you are. Yeah. So, I would you tell me your name and your story? My name is Nanka Vera Sharon. I'm 18 years old and I got a sickness. Manyamazi Manyolo was a Tolina second chance in Neum Kanaka Yimban Kutu 